Piers Morgan is editor at large at DailyMail.com, and he joins us tonight. Hey, Piers. How are you, Tucker? So, what do you what do you make of this? But both of Amorosa's latest incarnation as a political pundit and of the dismissal of religion as mental illness. Well, look. First of all, I find it absolutely ridiculous that we're even having to discuss. Omarosa in any serious political context. And the only reason we're doing that is because she was allowed to have an office in the West Wing of the White House for nearly a year. Uh, I don't know why Donald Trump would have ever let her in there. She's already behaving exactly how I could have predicted she would behave. In other words, she's squealing like a canary and taking them all down, as of course she was going to. She's Omarosa. She's a reality television star whose only raison d'etre is to be a poisonous little viper uh, spreading gossip, innuendo, and terrorizing everyone in her wake. So. First question, what was she doing there? There is no sensible more. answer. I mean, for all the time I mean, we spent saying, the Russia story, gone, this nuts. is a bigger scandal. I agree. She worked at Omarosa, worked in the White House. Really? Why? Democrats didn't even notice. I guess she's too, you know, she seems normal to them. <laughs> I guess. I don't know. <laughs> well, what the to extraordinary make thing, it. I think, is. We have, all, we have all this stuff about Rob Porter, which is a very serious matter, and it's quite clear that he shouldn't have been there either, given what we now know about him. And there are questions for the administration right to the top about who knew what, where and when. But if we're going to apply that logic and judgment to Rob Porter, where was the same logic and judgment about having Omarosa with her own office in the West Wing? I mean, it is almost beyond parody. And yet there is a serious point to this, Tucker, which is who is the president surrounding himself with? You know, I, I have a lot of time for Donald Trump. I've known him a very long time. I met him when I, when I took part on Celebrity Apprentice with Omarosa. Uh, but he's got to have better people around him in the White House, I think, than the types of, of people we see with Rob Porter and Omarosa. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I think Omarosa is probably in her own category. I, I can say having, you know, been over there a few times, that it's not chock full of Omarosas, but she did work there. Um, she became famous for being horrible. I don't think it's an overstatement. Um, you, you worked with her on The Apprentice. What's she like? She's absolutely appalling. I mean, literally one of the worst human beings I've ever encountered in my life. And I've encountered <laughs> a lot of bad people. She has no saving grace. She was vicious, conniving, scheming, plotting, treacherous. She, she I mean, her first gambit to me, day one, first challenge. She sidles up to me. I've never even met this woman. And she says to me, hey, Piers, we should have a bromance, a show rant, showmance. I said, what's a showman? She went, you know, she said, on The Apprentice, everyone has sex together. So you and I could do that, and then we could sell it and make loads of money. I, I said, have you, are you completely <laughs> deluded? <laughs> what? Please go away. She said, what? What's the matter with you? Are you gay? I went, no, just because I don't want to have sex with you on this show, that doesn't make me gay. So anyway, this is your Me that, Too moment. Literally, for about... <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I'm a victim here. I'm a victim of, of Omarosa, Tucker. But she, she gave me then for four or five weeks unrelenting five barrels of abuse, tirades, homophobic stuff, and really vicious, nasty stuff. And I couldn't believe it. I mean, she, she got beaten in the show. I ended up winning it. That stuck in her mind as well. Cut forward to the campaign, I think in the middle of 2016, I suddenly read she's going to be working for Donald Trump, the candidate. I'm like, what? How can that even make any sense? Then I hear when he wins, she's going to be in the White House. Now, I, you know, again, I have a lot of respect for Donald Trump, but I'm afraid with Omarosa, this made no sense at the time. It makes no sense now she's left. She apparently achieved absolutely nothing in her time in the White House other than disrupting everybody. And you can just bet your life she was there listening plotting, scheming, probably tape recording. We're now going to have Celebrity Big Brother and all the stuff will come out of that. Then we're going to have the book, then the docuseries, and then the Lifetime movie, Tucker, at which point you and I are going to have to leave the country because it is so ridiculously absurd. <laughs> That's one of the most vivid descriptions of anyone I've ever heard. Have you been in contact with her? I, I suppose you're not texting each other still. You know what? We have not stayed in touch. I did bump into her once at a, at a WWE wrestling event. And it's funny, the nausea I felt in the exact moment that she made that proposition to me all came flooding back. And I literally had to run to the restroom and regurgitate exactly what I had done all those years before. You know, she is beyond any reproach. She's a professional 
agiteur of epic proportions and probably the <laughs> least trustworthy human being ever conceived on God's earth. And for her now to be laying into Mike Pence about religion when religion has somehow created this monster is beyond any <laughs> sense of realism you could ever wish to have. What a life you lead. Running into Omarosa WWE is so fantastic. Pierce Morgan, come back anytime. Great to see you.